the Revit Series A8 brought to you by BIM Technologies. So in this video we will continue from where we have learned about creating architectural and structural floors. So here we will learn about how to create slope in a existing floor and also we will learn how to modify sub elements for the floor. Now let's go to Revit and see. So in the Revit screen you can see that there is a floor that is already created. So we have a floor so if you wanted to edit the floor you can select the existing floor and then we can edit it. Let's say go to the edit boundary to edit it and then let's say we wanted to have a floor of let's say 5 meters and here we have a floor of 10 meters. Now here in this particular example I wanted to have the slope of the uh, floor from the edge at the top to the bottom over here. So now let's see how we can create it. Select the floor, go to the edit boundary and then you have the slope arrow option. So you have, a, you have, to have two options to create the slope. One is basically creating the slope at uh, with the line and with the pick line. And also make sure that you have a floor in situ or the you know what is, what is the type of the uh, floor that you have selected. Now let's go here and let's say put the height offset to zero here. Let's say I'm going to create a level one. So here you have this point for the first point of the slope arrow and there is a second point here. Now this is very important to sketch because the slope arrow will determine what is the slope at the point where you have sketched that is the height at tail or you can have the slope angle at the tail. Let's say you height at tail and the level at tail is level one. So you wanted to have the height at tail at zero. That means here the edge here would be at zero. That means uh, offset is zero. That is at level one. But this particular edge that you have over here has to have a particular elevation. Let's say this is something the height at head or the level at head is from the level one. And I wanted to have it at minus 300. That means this particular edge is at level one at zero offset and this particular edge it as is at minus 300 millimeters from the level one so once you finish it you see a sloped wall will a sloped floor will be created now create a section from the view and let's say if you drag a section you can see the section over here double click here and you can see the sloping over here so you can go with the annotate and you can have a spot slope here and you can see that the slope angle can be seen from here so this is a classical example by which you can create a slope in the floor. So you can also change the slope. You can go to the edit boundary. You can select. You can change the length of the slope uh, arrow. And here you can see that the height at tail at this point, it, let's say, is zero. But at, at a particular point, which is a distance of 5,300 millimeters from the top edge, you wanted to have a height offset of minus 300. So if you go and see, if you create the section again, you can see that the slope will take its root uh, as it that the level one over here, the edge over here is at level one and at a particular distance with the five meters here, it is at a minus 300 millimeters. So the slope is taking its action and the slope changes to a particular uh, value. If you go with a spot slope, you can see that it is 57 by 1000. So this is one way of creating the slope. And the other way is basically, let's say if I wanted to remove it first, let's say if I want to remove it and I wanted to create a sub uh, sub object. Now how the sub modification of the sub object basically works in Revit. So if you have the object over here and if you say modify sub elements or sub objects, so you see that the grips here are developed. Now these grips will be basically you can see it in the 3D view clearly. So this grips can be selected individually and you can see that, you know, with the grips, you can put the vertex up, you can change the value here, let's say make it zero. You can select the edge point over here, you can have a value over here, let's say if you wanted to have it at 300. Though, so the sub elements will move. Now let's say here, uh, what is happening is, while you're creating the sub elements, uh, you know, changing it, the entire roof is sloping. Now let's say in the edit type, if you have in the structure, and if you say the concrete uh, cement creed, which is a 50 mm, is variable. So in this case, you will see that 
you know the upper layer is moving as compared to the layer which is there in the bottom over here so if you select the select the floor here and go to the edit type you can see that here since this particular layer which is a concrete sand or a cement uh, screed 50 mm which is a variable so it is changing the thickness but the other thickness are like the concrete cast in c2 is 175 millimeters which is a constant one so if you change it if you if you basically make it remove the variable checkbox here so you can see that the entire floor will now slope accordingly now here in this particular case let's say if i wanted to reset it to the shape that i am having and i can go to the modify sub elements and create a split line so i'm creating a split line so what i'm doing is i'm getting an extra control to the edge so here i can if i select it and if i say modify sub element and move this one you can see that only the face which is subjected to this particular area will move so this is another very good option to change and have a variable slope in the floor and also if you have a pick point let's say you can select a point over here go to the modify select the select the point again go to the modify element and then you can see that how the shape changes so you can try with different options here and it's a very good option of changing into to order to have variable shapes in a floor hope you have enjoyed this video uh, please like the video please comment in the youtube comment section and also share the video and hopefully we will be having more videos on advanced tools of revit and definitely uh, subscribe to our channel for bim technologies for more videos in revit for architecture thank you thank you once again